Hi, I'm Christopher Brenner with the Muscle Doc Method, and today I'm going to be covering some massage, a massage tutorial for the uh, low back. Uh, these techniques are geared towards beginner to that intermediate level. Uh, intermediate level and in, in advance, um, I do have some uh, some courses I go in on, on some of those techniques, but today I want to discuss uh, more of a basic uh, massage protocol here for, for the low back. Now, if you uh, see my other video on the neck and posterior uh, portion of the mid back and the posterior shoulders. Um, this would work in conjunction with that when putting together a, a, a full body treatment. So what we want to do is we're going to take the pad of our elbow and we're going to start right here we have our uh, spine over scapula and uh, that leads out to about T3. So we're going to be right about T3. What we're going to do is we're going to sink our, our pad of our elbow right there and we want to make sure that we're not putting too much stress on our shoulder um, or our low back. So we're going to lean into it. And this first pass is more of a just gentle introduction to see where the client is at. And we're going to be working our way down in layers as far as as much pressure that we're applying. Now I'll look for the bottom uh, inferior border of the uh, scapula here and um, and the mid backs about T7. What we're going to do is place the pad of our other elbow and we're going to sink in and we're going to glide down towards the low back. And we're going to come back up. And typically I'll do that for three passes. This is getting this, the, the erector muscles relax, getting into that QL a little bit. And we're going to slide down. And I'm leaning my weight into my elbow. I'm not pushing pushing down or applying any um, extra pressure. It's just more of my body weight. We'll get to applying more firmer pressure as we warm and soften this tissue up. Now we're gonna sink into the low back here on that QL. And where I'm at here is you have the iliac crest and we have our lower uh, border of our ribs here. And in that space, we have our QL, and then we have our erector muscles here, and then we have the attachment uh, uh, sites here for those muscles on the iliac crest. So again, we're gonna come down, and we're going to sink into that nice little sweet spot that everybody loves. Now we can give a little bit of a rocking motion back and forth. We're gonna hold that for probably about three to five seconds and then we're gonna to switch to our other arm, taking our elbow, sliding into that sweet spot again. Just gonna kind of roll back and forth. We're just feeling it out. See, you know, starting to get an idea of what the tissue feels like. And often what I'll do is I'll close my eyes and I'll start to see uh, through my elbow. And I'll just start working through these areas and just start to notice what the tissue feels like. And you wanna be mindful that you're not pressing into the transverse process of the lumbar spine, pressing into the bone of the iliac crest or the ribs. That doesn't feel good at all. And you risk doing damage to those structures. I'm going to slide down here. Now we're just starting to loosen it up. And it's common for muscles in this area to start to like to spasm a little bit and sort of fight back. And you back off a little bit. You gauge that. Okay, we're going to sink in here. Good. And I'd say my pressure is probably... I'd say it's about a five, six out of 10 right now. 
we're back and forth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tap, uh, uh, start at this um, down here by the SI joint, and we're going to just move all the way up, covering. Again, over all those those round voids, the uh, low and mid traps here, working this neck, allowing the body a, a moment to just relax from the deeper tissue pressure and just settle in. And again, we're going to go ahead and start up here, flushing out that mid back, and we're moving our way. Now you can bring your arm to a 90 degree like this, you can keep it bent, you can guide it with your other hand. I'm going to take that all the way down. You want to stop right when you get to about this SI joint. Being really careful not to press too much again into the bone. I'm going to come up to around T7, T8. By your elbow and now we're now we're getting a little bit of deeper pressure into that and I'm really hooking on firmly onto that muscle tissue that was kind of fighting back and it's starting to respond by by easing up not being so resistant now now I'm getting a better idea now that I can sink in here deeper on what areas of this low back that might need more uh, specificity and working on. Now in some of my advanced myofascial technique courses, you can find out uh, information about my advanced myofascial techniques in the description below. Uh, both online and in-person seminars uh, where I'll go into more advanced uh, myofascial techniques uh, specifically on how to treat the low back when you have a client that comes in with uh, uh, pain present. And we're gonna glide through here. We're going to come down again, sinking in and we can go ahead and apply some for a pressure, hold it here, and then release. And you'll feel them take a nice inhale, and then on the exhale, what you can go ahead and do is sink back in. And we can kind of rock back and forth over that uh, muscle tissue there. Good, switching sides. And again, you really want to see through your elbow and see what your elbow is, is feeling and direct your pressure and attention to, to those areas. And what we can do is we can take the pads of our fingers and start to feel around to see more specifically some other areas. So go up here to the uh, lower uh, attachment here on the on the ribs, moving along that QL to its attachment here on the iliac crest, applying some rocking uh, motion and pressure on the uh, QL motor point in there. And for you acupuncturists, this would be a nice warm up. Uh, before you uh, d decide to apply needles into an area, especially if it's an acute bout of uh, pain and extreme tonicity of the muscle. Um, I'm always a little skeptical um, of applying needles right away until that tissue is softened up a, a bit uh, and it can handle that type of uh, manipulation. And we can go ahead, take our thumb, Working in there, finding more specific areas. We're adding some circular motions.
flush it out. Again, with that elbow here. And what you'll notice, I'm trying to give you is multiple uh, ways of using your hands, fingers, fists, and elbows and addressing uh, soft tissue. Uh, the last thing you want to do, and it's common to overwork these uh, these thumbs and the uh, and this joint, um, you know, won't last long working uh, on on bodies with uh, you know overusing those thumbs. Good, just digging in, and now I'd say my pressure is more of that, you know, eight out of ten. Just really digging in. You know, this is probably my third, fourth pass down into the low back. So, um, you know, now it's able to just handle and accept that, that, that amount of pressure. Good, and we're going to go ahead and ride this all the way back up and flush that out. Good. So I do hope you enjoyed this video today and that you apply some of these techniques uh, yourself. Why don't you leave a comment down in the section, uh, comment section down below. Uh, let, me how, let me know how your uh, clients responded to these uh, particular new moves. And uh, if you like this video, show me some love and uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out the program links below and I'll see you in the next episode.